Hey, it's Cody with Kobe Outdoors. I just wanted to do a little video here, show you guys what we make and uh, how we bring 3D printing to the uh, sportsman's outdoors, different types of uh, outdoor activities. Um, and pardon the background here. I'm working out of my garage. Still working on getting a good video area set up and can kind of show you guys more things as, as we come out with different products. Start with our arms that we make. We make them for uh, all different brands of flashers, Vexlar, Hummingbird, Markham, um, and we'll, you know, what the arms we do have will work on just about any brand out there, any setup. A lot of universal ways to attach these things. So with the uh, Hummingbird Ice 55, this will work with any of your Gen 2, 3 models. If they've got these spring-loaded tabs here for your cord wrap, you can actually change, take the hardware out, replace that tab, and attach an arm. Not the most, you know, stable mounting, but it's convenient, it's out of the way, utilizes hardware already there, you don't have to drill any holes. If you ever want to switch it back, move your arm to a different machine, you certainly can. Plenty of weight, holds up good. Um, another option, this is Gen 2 setup as well, but this is uh, more for Gen 1s, Pro Packs, there's a riser option on the Hummingbird Gen 1 arm and on the Vexlar arm. So on your Vexlar Pro Pack, you've got this lip and on the Hummingbird. So what you do is you can drill a hole in the base here and supply a two inch tall quarter inch screw, tapered screw. Um, that'll run up, put your nut on the top and that way it still sits nice and flush in your bag, doesn't mess with anything. The other option is for the Gen 1 is without the riser, do a smaller hole and you can just put a screw, screw it anywhere on like a Gen's pack. Um, some of the Gen 1 Hummingbirds have a built-in riser in the base with a little brass insert and that uses just a little machine screw you can get at any hardware store. Um, then when it comes to the Gen's pack, We've got all kinds of features for this guy. Um, there's so many things you can do with the Gens Pack. This one, I've got the Ice Hole Power Blue Box Kit, which we do offer some of their parts as well um, for the, the Blue Box Gens Pack. So we've got the Ice Hole Power Cup. As you guys know, we make a lot of mounts for their cups. Um, had somebody reach out wanting to put one in a wheelhouse one time thought up a way to mount it in there. I wanted to put them in mine personally and uh, came up with an option. And from there it spiraled out of control to now I think we've got half dozen, dozen different mounts for ISIL powers, glow cups. And we can make anything work for the original size or the large cup. So turn this guy on, you've got your glow cup, everything's wired in, comes with stainless screws to mount it on the side. As you can see, it does actually contour to the that uh, shape of the box there. And then we also added a rod holder. You can change this out to a cup holder. If there's some other kind of an attachment you'd like, these pop right out. And I can change this base to hold just about anything you want. Or if you want a blank base, you want to screw your own accessory to it, you sure can. Um, another one is a spool wrap. Real simple, comes with a spacer. Again, that two inch tapered screw, bolt it on. You've got a place to wrap up your cord. Wrap it all on there. Throw it in the cup. We also make a replacement cup for the Gens Pack. As you can see, this is a 3D printed cup. That is not the original. Um, we can custom make it to fit different size transducers, or we can do the three step where it'll fit multiples, whichever you prefer. I do have Ice Hole Power's Blue Box battery cover also on the website and the uh, binding posts. So you can do most of this on your own. We aren't offering the switches yet. I'm um, working on getting a stock of those, hopefully make them available one day. The other option for the Ice Hole Power Blue Box Kit is the light for down on the front. And you can get that at 
IceholePower.com. Jeremy's a great guy, makes awesome stuff, and he is super helpful. He knows a lot, and I've learned a lot from him. Proud to be able to uh, work with him and, and bring his products to uh, many more locations. Um, we do also have a GoPro mount, just real simple. 3D printed as well. You want to throw your GoPro on top of there. Next one we ventured into is getting power out and um, being able to utilize drill batteries as those are coming more and more common for your uh, ice augers. I figured we got to make a way to, to make more uses out of those because drill your rolls and and you're done with the battery. Well, some guys carry around three, four batteries. Some guys got to carry around three, four different batteries. Figure, get a power source down to one. These are real simple binding posts. You can get the clips that go inside. You can stick your wires in there, put your alligator clips on however you want. They are reduced down to about 13 and a half volts. Uh, and it is fused as well. So you're perfectly safe hooking to any 12 volt electronic. And just real simple, I've got some actuators here. We can run those. Plenty of juice. I uh, installed a rock light set on my Ranger and instead of hardwiring it directly to the Ranger, um, I figured instead of draining that battery, not long, knowing how long it was going to take me to install, I actually powered it off of a, oh, I think it went off of a three amp hour DeWalt battery. And I spent a good two hours just figuring out locations, how I wanted the angles of the lights and, uh, and how, and then mounting them, running all the wires. They were on the whole time and the battery was still at, uh, I think it had two bars left. So super handy with the reduced voltage. You're not gonna, before the battery ever drains down too far, which they are internally protected, um, it will, you know, your, your lights or whatever you're powering is gonna start to dim down and run out of juice before your battery's ever gonna run out. And that's why we reduce the voltage in there. We also have it for the Milwaukee. Another, you know, they're big, kind of bulky. We're working on slimming those down. But for now, that's kind of the space we needed to work with the electronics we've got and get them out to you guys. I uh, hope you check out the website, www.kobeoutdoors.com. And uh, hopefully there'll be some more videos to come. Thank you.